Right, I actually got the pipe in last night, the flue pipe. You're going to need help from down below, someone to pull the rope. As you can see, I attached an old spanner. So I dropped that from the, the top of the chimney and that come down. Then someone picked that up and then pulled on the rope. I'll show you more in detail later, but now I've got to take away the register plate because um, obviously I need to get to the flue pipe. I might have to cut some off and then I can put that back on after. But as you can see there, what I did with the pipe, it's hard on there. I feel the, just blocked it up. It's a bit bent over, but I'm going to cut that pipe anyway. So what I'd done, I used an old um, paint can or you know, one of them old Wix bucket things, the wire. I drilled a 5mm hole that side and that side in the flue pipe. Then got some pliers and bent the wire over there like that and the other side. And obviously I attached the rope. Um, I was up the top last night, the top of the chimney. You can push it a certain amount of the way but as it goes through there's like a bend in the middle and you're going to need someone down below here pulling it and also what i found is another little tip is if you twist the pipe as well at the top so as you're um doing the pipe give it a twist like a screw if it gets stuck and that helps a lot to get the plate off i'm going to use a blade cut round where the heat silicon is which I bonded it on with and then also I use like a pry bar and then go round and lever it off as you see once I cut round the edge you get a pry bar can you see that coming away Oop, like that but you want to wear safety glasses or a mask if you want look at it all the coke's coming down Right, next I'm going to tidy up the pipe, obviously you can see this bit's all creased. I'm going to use like tin snips or you can use aviate, good quality aviation snips. I pulled the pipe down a little bit more. I'm going to probably cut around that ring a bit and then that will get rid of the nastiness. So it's fairly easy to snip for actually. Let's see what I'm doing. I'll get to the ring where I want. I'm just for demo purposes, but wear gloves because this is sharp as a razor. You take your fingers off. See there, and then I just follow that around, going ch -ch -ch -ch, like that all the way around. Right, next stage, I've got the adapter from the 5 inch to the 6 inch flue pipe. Flue pipe's going to sit in there. I've got some fire cement there, so I'm going to spatula that out and then squeeze it all in there. And then this has got to push up on the pipe, and then I need to do that with 10 mil spanner. Do that up. Right, now I've um, put all the... Um, heat cement all around there that needs to go up and goes within the inside of that as you can see look so we've got to push it right the way up as far as it'll go all the way and then just need to do the, all the, the bolts up and then leave that for a bit so, what I'm going to do now, I've just got loft insulation which I bought, and I'm going to pack that up into the void there, all around the pipe. Right, next stage, there's my uh, flue pipe, and I've smeared some, um, as you can see there, fire cement all around the inside 
there and up above where it's got a meet and I'll put the register plate on because I won't be able to slide that back on after because it's quite a tight fit on there so next stage you've got to push that up connect on there and prop this up with some pieces of wood till it goes off right okay what I need to do now is seal the pipe there to the flue pipe, to the stove pipe there. I bought some 1500 degree resistant silicon. So what I'm going to do first, I'm going to apply a bead. Right. All the way. Hold on. all the way around there all right go all the way around the whole 360 degrees and then i'm going to apply same again here all the way around 360 degrees Right, okay, what I'm going to do now, that is connected to the flexi pipe up the flue, so I'm just going to lever that up. I'll put the silicon all around now, the heat silicon. Right, just got to manoeuvre that in place. Hold on. Just a bit more. That's it. Push the stove along. Right, it's more or less in position now, so I can now pull the pipe down like that. Give it a little twist. Um, the reason I'm using this silicon is because I've used the heat cement number of times before and all I find is it just keeps cracking up so I thought this is 1500 degrees so I thought let's give this a go might make a neater job of it and now what I need to do is just get the gun once that's in and apply another little bead around there what I'll probably do is put a piece of um, masking tape around just to protect it Right, all I've got to do now, put the heat silicon, a fine bead around the top ceiling pipe and the register plate, I should just go round with a thin bead all the way around, just sealing it. And here, I will do eventually go round with uh, an additional bead around the top near the stove. 